Hey everybody, I started this live stream even though I talked about this subject before tonight because at least one of you said, hey, are you going to talk about the Mike Mayock, John Gruden, where they basically said to their scouts, go home and don't come back, you know, for the draft. And so I thought, you know, this is important enough to, to start and talk about again. And the reason is there are a lot of people who don't understand what it means to run an organization. And you know, they come from, and it didn't occur to me at the time, but people come from different walks of life. Some work in casinos, others work in fast food organizations. Some have different jobs. Others are captains in the industry. Others are entrepreneurs. Others are either house husbands or housewives. Uh, some people share those duties, right? Hey, Miguel Monquist, how you do? All kinds of different walks and all kinds of different approaches to, to life. You know, some have kids, some don't. So all of that, you know, comes to bear on this, on this subject. And you would say, why? And I would say, well, because uh, people are Raider fans, all right? And uh, hey, you're the best of the best. Thank you. Appreciate that uh, very much, uh, very much. And here's the, here's the problem, okay? First of all, it started with Mike Mayock and um, apparently I have a little frozen screen here. One, bear with me one moment, folks. Got to string something out here. Uh, all right, let's do that and then let's try this. Oh, let's see where we go here. Go there. There, there it is. Okay. I'm live. J Dub! J Dub is in the house. How you doing, J Dub? Hey, we are all here. J Dub. Man, you know what? J Dub. So, all right, here is the problem. Because uh, I'm not going to make this a long live stream uh, for a whole host of reasons. But among them, I want to get this point out of the way, okay? And I think. It's this. I have a pitch deck that I have sent to investors, but if I'm gonna sit down with somebody who's gonna put money in my company based on an approach that includes code that's proprietary, meaning I'm not gonna show it, uh, I'm fine, JJ Dub. Hey, JJ Dub. Uh, simply, Put it simply this way, all right? They're going to sign a non-disclosure agreement. That means you don't talk about what I'm presenting to you, okay? Mike Mayock and John Gruden, by extension, showed just how organizationally naive they are to be just really blunt and honest by not having their employees, contractor or no, sign a non-disclosure agreement. So, you know, the answer is not to say, well, gee, we're going to kick you out. If, if you, if, the answer is, hey, look, why didn't you guys sign, have your people sign a non-disclosure agreement? That's the question. And that's the question you should be asking. And some people say, oh, you know, you're not a fan. No, excuse me. You are not a fan for allowing this kind of organizational incompetence to exist, okay? Because that's precisely what it is. And if you don't know it, you know it now. You don't run a company like that. You don't run a company like that. You've got days before the NFL draft. You want to put on a positive face. And all of a sudden, you're saying you you. It's not that you put it out there. You didn't. Mike didn't have a press conference to say. By the way, I'm here to announce. I mean, that we've um, fired our scouts or we let them go for Easter. No, no, it got leaked. Okay. And it got look look. Understandably, it got leaked. Not so much because the people he was getting or the leakers, but because there was no non-disclosure agreement to begin with. That was one million percent managerial stupidity. Okay? It doesn't matter who leaked it. The, the point
point is, it was the dudes at the top that didn't have them sign anything to not say anything. Because if, 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 here's why I'm so pissed off about this. Aside from the fact that it's just massively stupid uh, in terms of what they did. We're in the San Francisco Bay Area, okay? And in the San Francisco Bay Area, if you have any life at all, you try it, if you're an entrepreneur, you will run across more than once venture capitalists. That means one thing. You are very familiar with non-disclosure agreements. What it says to me is that John Gruden and Mike Mayock have no familiarity with building a business and the importance of understanding what kind of contractual mechanisms there are so that you can keep corporate secrets. It's quite obvious Mike Mayock believes that what he's got is a corporate secret. Fine, have him sign the NDA. Don't turn around and say, well, I can't trust them. You're, you, what he did was just, just butt-ass dumb, all right? I, I'm not mean to be insulting, but if he sees this, maybe he'll say, okay, I'm mad, but okay, I'll learn something. Mike, get yourself a set of NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. Have Dan, you know, that's Dan Ventrelli's fault too. He's the legal guy. Dan, they're all showing the organizational naivety, all of them. Drop NDAs. That's what you do. I mean, I can't. I mean, it's like the blind leading the blind, you know. And y'all gonna love and defend him. Oh, yo, well, you're not a fan. I am a fan, but I'm not a fan of ridiculous behavior. Sorry, no way, Jose. I am not going to rubber stamp an action that I know is incompetent. I'm gonna save you from your incompetence by calling it out. That's all I'm doing. Hey, shouldn't have been doing it, okay? Should not have been doing it. Not at all, all right? J-Dub says, this is a very weird situation. I've never heard of this happening in my 35 years of being a Raider fan. That's, that's precisely my point. And J-Dub says, do you think Mike's inexperience in the front office and NLP is starting to show now? Uh, you think? <laughs> Yes, but it's not just Mike Mayock, all right? It's the Raider organization as a whole. The Raider organization as a whole should have procedures, professional procedures in place to deal with this sort of thing, but they don't. If they did, you wouldn't have heard a peep about this. And what I'm saying is, I'm not saying this is an indictment against all other you know, past Raider organizations, right? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that this, this is a, um, a, a, a situation where you can only look at the current raid organization under the current actors and say, okay, and I say actors, I mean Mike Mayock, Mark Davis, and John Gruden, and say, okay, under this regime, they don't quite do things in a way that has a structure that's, that makes sense. And let me more to the point, they don't quite do things in a way that has a structure that avoids such mistakes that come out and become public very quickly, all right? What you have to do when you're designing any organization is say, all right, what is it that I wanna protect? And who, and if, if you know what you wanna protect, then you put it in there. I have had for years non-disclosure agreements in my contracts with my clients. Because if I develop something, all right, I don't want them yapping about it to other people. When I mean something, I mean like code, particular type of website development, that's mine. So how do I lock that in? Get it in writing. Then nobody can say nothing, all right? Okay? j Dub says this, this is a situation that has to happen every time the management changes. No. I mean, it's something that, it's really common sense, to be honest with you. I hate to, I hate to put it that way, but it really is, it's just common sense. Common sense says, okay, I'm not going to, um, what I'm going to do is, I mean, I, I, I need to have an NDA, and I know that. So I'm going to have this, this stack of NDAs here, 
you know, that that I can reach for, right? And I want to have a stack of, I have an NDA file in my computer that I can send with an email and say, hey, look, get your DocuSign, you know, and fill this bad boy out, right? That's what I'm saying, okay? And they didn't do that, all right? They didn't do that. Um, you know, quite obviously, they didn't do that. Um, and so, Teo says, do you think that's why they told me to leave because someone informed that they didn't have the doc signed? No, uh-uh. That gives them more credit than they deserve. Because if the, if the doc is signed, all right, then the situation changes. If you have, let me put it this way. Let's say all the scouts signed the doc, all right? Then the only way the matter of the non-disclosure agreement becomes important is if somebody materially leaked something, okay, you knew, and you knew that, and you could go to that person and say, hey, look, there was a leak, you signed this, and therefore we have to fire you. And that takes on a different terminology. It's not like we fire people because we didn't know who to trust. No. What it, here's the reason why. What they would say is, we had a person who violated a non-disclosure agreement. But think about what that says. I mean, think about this. Just think about what that says, okay? Um, no, I don't think it's. I don't think, it's not a matter of a mole. It's a matter of the raid organization creating the existence of a mole by not having a non-disclosure agreement or set of them, okay? So my point is, if you have non-disclosure agreements signed, then you say, "Hey, you've got uh, a problem." Well, we've got a problem where someone violated our non-disclosure agreement. You know what that does? Stop and think for a moment. It puts all of the blame on that person for being a cheat, for being a liar, for being a person who doesn't follow the rules. Who, who, worse, a person who's a fraud. They put their name to something and it doesn't come through. That's all on them. And you get that by signing a non-disclosure agreement. But what does that do for the Raiders organization? It protects the Raiders organization. It's risk management. It's good risk management. Your lawyer is supposed to protect you from that. Dan Ventrelli, where are you? Dan Ventrelli, where are you? That's on him, okay? It's on him, it's on Mayock, and it's on Gruden. It's on the group. Dan Ventrelli ought to have a non-disclosure agreement document written up right now. Okay? Thank you, Tony. So my point, all right? So Muhammad says, the issue of trying scouting department hasn't changed. Same group as what Reggie had. Why weren't they replaced as odd? No, no, you're reading something from Pro Football Talk, and Michael David Scott is wrong, okay? And here's why I assert that Michael David Scott is wrong. And I'll give you the evidence regarding his, uh, you know, thing. Here's what I got to do, folks. Let's, I got to take care of something. Let's pick this up in a little bit later, okay? Or, um, yeah, because I got to take care of that.